All right, hello. Welcome back to the Deep Rock Galactic video, y'all. In today's video, I'm going to be going on this week's deep dive, Fractured Return, with Scout here, taking what is probably my most favorite, or at least my new favorite build on Scout, that being the Deep Core GK2 as the primary with the AI stability engine and the jury rigged boomstick as the secondary with the jumbo shells and stable overclock. Before I get into how I have the guns built, YouTube is recommending my content to you, or if you just found my channel out of the blue and you like the content that I make, maybe consider subscribing. Really appreciate it, help the channel grow, and I like to have guys along for the ride. All right, so like I said, I have the Deep Core GK2 here. How I have it built is in tier one, I have a faster rate of fire, more damage in tier two, bigger magazine size in tier three, weak spot bonus damage in tier four, and an even more rate of fire in tier five. Then for the overclock, I have AI stability engine. Essentially, this overclock gives you no recoil and a very fast spread recovery. So essentially, I can just stare at a bug from, <clears throat> from a million meters away and be able to hit my bullets basically from wherever I stand. So it's like essentially like a laser beam. And I have an increased weak spot bonus. But at the cost, you have a lower damage output and you have a slower rate of fire. But that's fine because look at this weak, weak point bonus damage. Ooh, 70%. Then for the jury rig boomstick, how I have it built is in I have more total ammo in tier one. I have a I have reload speed in tier two. I have more total ammo in tier three. Super blow through rounds in tier four and heat in tier five. Then for the overclock jumbo shells, basically it just gives you a huge increase in your damage, but at the cost you have a significantly less ammo and a longer reload time. But you know that's just the trade-offs you get for getting more damage. So whatever. <laughs> For the flare gun, how I have a built is like uh, how I always have a built more duration and more magazine size. Same thing with the grappling hook, more reach, faster projectile speed, momentum. For my grenade stay, though, I'm going to be bringing the cryo grenade. And then, wah! <laughs> a yaw. Dang it, hold on. A yaw. <laughs> I'll revise cryo grenades and electric bullets. All right. I just looked at my rank number. Nice. <laughs> mm, I'll take that with me. Why not? Why not? I'll take it with me. Rocky Mountains for, everyone. for everyone? I'm alone, though. <laughs> Why didn't you pour your what yourself one, Lloyd? <laughs> oh, the first mission, eggs, mining, and regenerative bugs. Cool. Well, I'm glad I have Steve with me. I think I brought Steve. Oh, boy. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Let's try to speedrun this. I should get the... Uh, what is it? The speedrunning clock. I, I don't know what they're called. Time skips or splices? I don't know. So I think the reason why this is my new favorite build is because, um, oh, <laughs> it's because of that. No, it's because uh, AI stability engine is just really nice. I'm able to just be like, you know, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> oh, first egg. Nice. Hey, warden. Bye, Warden. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I don't want to. I don't want to set off the Huli Hoarder. I'm gonna try my best not to. Oscar just dropped that. Are you kidding me? It dug away at the last second. Okay, we're restarting now. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. So close. Hello. Mm, look at that that damage. <laughs> I forgot to turn off my damage indicator. So whoops You guys are just got to deal with the numbers that are popping up on the screen. I guess I Actually kind of do want to turn it off. I also kind of just want to reset so I can get the um, the Huli hoarder <laughs> oh, Man, I'm so upset that I didn't get it <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's just so good this damage is just insane. Oh, well, well, well. Hello, oppressor. Want to just sit right there? Yeah, sit right there and die. <laughs> oh, man. I hope you guys don't mind the damage uh, numbers because I that's just my fault. I accidentally forgot to turn them off after I got done recording <laughs> for uh, uh, what video was it? The RJ250 compound. Forgot to turn it off. It's my bad. Yeah, no. The this build is just really fun to me because you're able to just laser and destroy anything, and then for for the the big boys here, you can just use jumbo shells on them. 
just, you know, <laughs> clean up the rest of it. Oh, it's just so good. Uh-oh, there's a menace. Well, well, well. I have good news for you, menace. I have the menace remover. Where are you, buddy? Show your face. Off, oh, come on, buddy. Don't be like that. Show me your face. Boy. Hi. Bye. <laughs> that was the whole swarm was just one menace. Ah, there you go. No, not yet. I need to still get this egg. Wherever it is. I will literally just dig to it. <laughs> I am the driller now. There we go. <laughs> Our boss got molly. It. Yeah, what? <laughs> Alright, off to the next mission. Here we go. Whee! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, my back. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Alright, that's, you know, that's actually nice. <laughs> uh, I get to show you the power of the AI still the engine with this. <laughs> I try really hard to use different builds every time I do a video. Like using overclocks I've never used before, and then I make a video on them because I tried them out. I'll try. <laughs> Anyways, after this recording session, I'm going to go back to playing Bloodborne. <laughs> I've been replaying it again. I just finished a run using the, the Holy Blade, Ludwig's Holy Blade, and that was pretty fun. I, I can see why people really love the weapon where it's in its trick form and you can just stagger every single time you hit. And then, um, no, shut up, Scott. I'm replaying it now with the threaded cane. I've, I've replayed it with a hunter ax and I've replayed it with, or well, I've obviously already played it with the sock cleaver, but uh, I haven't done the, the last starting weapon, the threaded cane. And the reason why I'm doing the threaded cane specifically though, is because after I beat the game, in New Game Plus, I'm going to play with the Burial Blade. I want to try out the Burial Blade as well. And I believe the Burial Blade is primarily skill. So that'll be fun. Hive Guard. God damn it. <laughs> Hive Guard isn't too bad with AI stability engine. I remember it being decent, but still, oh, I hate the Hive Guard. <laughs> I just feel like Hive Guard should always have those spores open on her back but make them smaller and have more health instead of just like okay here's the three sentinels then you gotta shoot the three spores then you gotta shoot the the backside while hive guard annoyingly spins around and then there you go you're you're on to the next phase uh of of hive guard hive guard has phase two no i mean the next phase of the same damn cycle <laughs> hello Come on up. Oh, splutters. Help, help me splutters. <laughs> oh God, rocks. <laughs> rocks and stone. I hear you splutters. Oh God. <laughs> Oh god, oh god. Come on. Yeah. Nope. 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 Yeah, stand right there. And you're dead. <laughs> oh, whatever. This doesn't even lead anywhere good. You guys enjoy the, enjoy your company. <laughs> to the next boss egg. Oh, is that a warden I see? Oh, well, well, well. No, don't spawn in anymore. What? Anyways. Ready. 
Hello, Steve. Finally found you. He just dies immediately. Oh. <laughs> you know, I was debating on retaking rewiring mod um, because I actually really did enjoy using rewiring mod for the carbine, but I'm still not so sure it's my most favorite. I think it's just my new favorite on the, the, the carbine itself, but I don't know. I still like using aggressive venting as well, but I think I think rewiring mod might might kind of compete more with it now. I've also been told that you actually needed to use manual heat dump right before the gun overheated automatically. So that's that's kind of interesting. But at the same time, I don't know. Manual heat dump is also just useful for when like there's no more bugs around you and you're at the the mark where you're able to, what the hell? Oh, it's the black box. Oops. Uh, and you're at the, the mark to where you're able to to overheat the gun. Then you can just like man manually do it yourself so you don't have to waste out on a lot of ammo. But I don't know. Oh, hello. Uh, I should have probably go, gone back for that resupply. Whoops. Fire over list. <laughs> I'll try rewiring mod out again uh, in the future. I just, I don't know if I'll do it, like, right away, but I don't know. I do want to try it out with the, whatever it's called. Here, take that. <laughs> There's Arbalus. I, I do want to try it out with that other gear mod, though, where it hits the 50 overheat and then it'll start shooting faster. And it'll do more damage. I do want to try that one out. Yeah, they're going to heal. No, they killed my bug. You guys suck. Yeah, just stand right there, this field of splitters. Oh, there it is. Like being in the floor. Ah! <laughs> bad. Bad lesser. Bad. Where are you, Arbalus? Dang it. Go to Arbalus first. Bosco, don't attack. Don't attack. Nope. Bosco, look at the wall. <laughs> Let's go in here. Where the hell are you, Arbalus? There you are. Yeah, just run away now. Here, start at that wall. Stop spawning in there and then going away. I'm gonna kill you first. You know that, right? You! <laughs> He's like, no, kill Last Raider! No, no, kill Last Raider! Kill Last Raider! Don't kill me! You can't hide away, hide from me! Neither can you! <laughs> God! I know which way we're going, this way. Oh, meatball. Oh, oh, meatball. Oh, mama mia. <laughs> Hold on, I wanna see, I wanna see. Hold on, Mr. Carl, I'm doing something here. Owie. I'm doing something. There we go. This is it, boys. Ah, oh, he said, this is it, boys, like he died. <laughs> this is it, boys. Probably because the, the drop pod was going down instead of up, so. Ah, oh well. All right, what's the final mission? All right, another black box. That This is like a perfect uh, scout mission or deep dive <laughs> it's been a really fun scout deep dive actually <laughs> yeah yeah that's another thing is just web spitters they're just gone they might as well just be gone same thing with wardens pop pop and you're dead nope <laughs> you know critical weakness with ai the AI stability engine built like this is insane. I've played it before. It is just, oh my God. <laughs> you just shred everything. Everything that comes in your path is dead. <laughs> Yo, they're killing the meatballs down there. <laughs> oh, something's dying down there. 
I guess you can consider this mod wall hacks because you just see the damage numbers pop up and you're just like, what's dying over there? <laughs> Boing. Are there any cave leeches though? <laughs> oh, I just love doing that. I'm just like, oh, I'm spitter. It's dead now. <laughs> Uh, no, it's not. I'd like to refute what you just said, Mission Control. You said, the swarm is here. And in quotations, that means it's gone. <laughs> hey, thanks for distracting him, Steve. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, no, Steve's almost dead. Oh, stop. Stop fighting Steve. No. No. Don't fight Steve. No. Stop. Stop fighting Steve. Hi, Bosco. Help. Help protect Steve. Oh, no. <laughs> I feel like Artorius from Dark Souls. I must protect my dog. <laughs> oh, there's the rest of them. <laughs> and there's a meatball. No. <laughs> I keep thinking of that one... One uh, uh aviator song. Uh what is it called? I was listening to it yesterday in the car while I was driving home. Oh, uh Song of the Abyss. Aviators is one of my most favorite um songwriters. It's from software games. I especially like their Bloodborne work. <laughs> their Bloodborne songs. Outside, summon the choir. Wake me when it's over, paralyzed. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> There's like a hidden cave over here. Yep. Cool. And there you go. That's the last one. Yeah. Moscow. I need that a quark. <laughs> what? There is another holy order. What? There was two holy holy orders on this deep dive. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, at least I got another another shot at it. I didn't mess it up. No, stay away from my Steve. <laughs> but I had help from the mine head and from whatever the hell it is as well. From everyone <laughs> trying to kill the Huli Hoarder. No, stay away from my bug. Stay away from Steve. Yeah. <laughs> no, can't can't pet Bosco. <laughs> I was like, hmm, let me try this. Nope, can't pet Bosco. Offshoot that I saw. No. No. Steve, stay alive. No. Did you just? You suck, Praetorian. I'm sorry, Steve. Uh, come on. <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna dig to it. I am the driller. Am driller. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I decided to be stupid, Mish Control. It's okay. Bye bye. <laughs> what a good deep dive. Wow. Two holy hoarders. Huh. Alright. Final score. Yo. Nice. Not too bad. Alrighty. Anyways, this was still this was a really really fun deep dive to go on. Like, oh my gosh, I love this build so much. The new like ever since they buffed the GK2 and reworked it like a lot, it's just been so much more satisfying to use it with, especially using it with AI stability engine. This build is just so much fun. I would highly recommend this build for anyone to try it out. And same thing with this uh, jumbo shells build as well. This build is just so good for being able to deal high damage to the big boys. And it is also really good for shredding the crowds too. So I would highly recommend both of these builds for anyone that wants to try them out.
who has these overclocks. Anyways, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate anyone who stuck around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Rocket Stone, miners. Thank you.